All right, so now I want to take a look at our um, admin. We've uh, been using the index page as kind of a um, you know, test ground for the for adding and uh, editing pages. However, this should be the dashboard since we titled it that for one. Um, and we're going to want uh, pages for users and settings and then anything else that we want to add here too. So let's take a look at how we have this uh, admin structured. So I'm going to go ahead and close what I have open here and let's go into the admin folder. Let's go ahead and open up index.php and uh, let's rethink our template a little bit. So if we look at our page here, we've got two areas that we're pretty sure are going to be consistent. That would be up here, the navigation and the footer. So technically the header and the footer. And really, instead of just taking this and calling this the header, what we really could do is take from here to here and consider that the header. Because none of this should change up here. Then we can take from this closing div for the wrap all the way down and call that the footer. Then this midsection here, or the content area, we'll call this a view. And uh, this is kind of uh, taking from the MCV approach of things. At least we're taking the idea a little bit. If you've ever looked into that, uh, it stands for module, control, and view. Where we're really just going to take the view part of it. Um, so, so similar to the home page, we're going to load content all here in the middle, and we're just going to call that uh, view. So let's first kind of lay the groundwork here. Let's right click on admin, choose new, and folder. And we're going to create a folder called views. And in here, we're going to create a file for each view we're going to have. So new, file, and this will be pages.php. Let's do new again. Users.php. Right click, new. Settings.php. And the last one. dashboard.php, which is really just a uh, fancy word for home. So let's close these other ones here first, and uh, let's focus on pages.php. So over on index.php, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my screen here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on word wrap. Uh, if you didn't know you could do, right click and choose word wrap here. And let's take a look at what's going to be in our view. We're going to want the title here, which we're going to want to change because this is for pages. But we're going to come down here all the way to line 166. So from line 166 all the way up to the H1 tag. We're going to cut that out. Let's paste that into pages.php. And we'll go ahead and do some formatting here, back this up a little bit. Just shift tab if you weren't aware of that. And let's get rid of some of this stuff we don't need. Okay, so now we have our pages view set up. We're going to need to load that though. So let's do a PHP include. And for now, we'll just uh, kind of hard code pages in there. So views slash pages dot PHP. Now let's take a look at our template. So we already have a footer.php in our template folder. It's pretty basic. So let's do this. Let's first create our header. So right click on template, new, file, and header.php. And let's move this guy over here by pages. And 
here we go. So, so we want everything from the main navigation up to that opening PHP tag. So we're going to cut that out, control X, paste it, control V, and go ahead and save that. Now we need to make sure we want to include that as well. Oh, we actually forgot to close that, if you didn't catch that. So we'll create another one. In fact, we can go ahead and just bump this down a line. This is going to make our uh, index page pretty, pretty simple looking, which is nice. And we'll be doing something like this for the uh, front end as well. So include template slash header dot php. Close that line. And let's just go ahead and make one for the footer. And we could really just copy this include for the header. So control C, control V. Change this to footer. But we need to make some changes to footer here. So let's go ahead and drag footer over to the side here so we can see it. Just to make sure we get this all right, let's go ahead and take out this part here this include for the uh, the original include for the footer and let's remove that and then let's grab what we have inside of footer.php cut that out and let's paste it where that include was there so now what we need is to grab everything from the closing HTML tag up to the closing div for the wrap. And let's cut that out. Control X and then paste it over here in footer. Control V and save. Here we go. Now here's our index file. Pretty simple, huh? So let's save that. And let's go to our page really quick and just, you know, make sure everything's working. There you go.